In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can organize your pages and posts into folders using a free plugin called Folders. And this video is a response to what Abel asked in the last video's comments. He's a subscriber of the channel. He asked, do you know a plugin that organizes creative pages as well? I have so many pages in one site and it always confuses me even though they're well named. This is a common problem for sites with lots of pages. I thought a lot of you would benefit. That's why I'm making the video. And I'm going to compare the features and functions of three different plugins in this video, Folders, Filebird, and Happy Files, so you can make the best decision for your site moving forward. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. And leave a like if you like this video. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get back to this one. The plugin I found to help categorize pages is called Folders. And you can get it by going to Plugins, and then Add New, and then searching for Folders. This is the one right here. It was updated very recently. A lot of great reviews. Actually, it's five out of five stars. So a perfect review for 309 different people having reviewed it, which is pretty awesome. 10,000 active installs. I'm going to install on this site. This is a demo site. If you're installing this on a live site, you might want to back up your site first because you never know if something will go wrong. It's better to have a backup, better to be safe. There's a tutorial in the description down below if you need help at backing up your site. Let's click on install now. And then activate. And actually, while we're on that page, now that we're off that page, let's create it so we can go back. Filebird is the one that we did in the last video, and it's great for organizing media library files, but it does not organize pages, not even the paid version. Folders does organize pages in the free version. It also has a paid version. The free version has a limit in the number of categories you can create, which is 10. Filebird is the plugin we reviewed in the last video. It organizes your media library, does it the same way Folders does, but Folders also does posts and pages and possibly other stuff too which the Filebird plugin does not do, not even in the paid version. And in the comments of the last video, a lot of you guys mentioned Happy Files, which is right here, happyfiles.io, which looks like a great plugin. With the free version, does the same stuff as Filebird, and with the paid version, one-time payment of $19 for unlimited sites, it'll categorize posts, pages, WooCommerce, uh, let's see what has it on here, right here. WooCommerce products, orders, coupons, and custom post types. So that might be even more than this plugin. We're going to see in just a minute. But those are all great options. Depending on what your needs are, pick the best one. The Folders plugin, we have the folder settings. Let's click on there. Here we can enter our email if we want updates. Skip for that. Here's a little welcome video. Shows you how to use it. Let's close that. Here we can choose where we want to use the Folders plugin. With posts, pages, media, blocks, or menus. You can also filter based on types of posts types of pages, types of media. And the way this is set up, it appears the 10 folders is across all of these different sections of the site, posts, pages, media. And the upgrade, let's see how expensive that is, is much more, $99 for 50 websites. Let's see, 1,000 websites, 249 for 1,000 websites, whereas Happy Forms will do it for $19 for unlimited sites. You can categorize posts, pages, and WooCommerce and custom post types. So if you need more than 10 folders, Happy Files might be the way to go. But if you need less than 10 folders, Folders is the way to go because it's actually cheaper because it's free. So if you need to upgrade, I would not upgrade with folders. I would upgrade with Happy Files because it's a lot cheaper. So let's go into the media library and let's take a look at how this works. Looks much the same as Filebird does. Let's add a new folder. Let's call it music again. We can drag and drop our items into the folder. Little one appears, boom, done. And the folders are virtual, meaning the URL is not changed. So if I go to edit for the violin, check the URL. It does not have the folder name in the URL. It's got the same URL that we saw in the last video. So that's great. Now if we go to pages, this is where we can organize our pages. We've used one folder already, that's in the media library. So let's add a folder for pages. Let's call it um, pages that start with C. Why not? Doesn't quite fit there. Let's make that a bit bigger. There we go. There's the C. Let's drag and drop all the pages that start with C in there. We're getting there. We're getting there. And we're there. Four pages. So if I click into here, 
we see our four pages. And again, this is a virtual folder, so not change the URLs. The cart page is still at just cart for the slug. It's not uh, pages that start with C forward slash cart, which would not be ideal. That would break a lot of stuff on your website. And we can create subfolders. Click on the pencil below folder, and let's just call this subfolder. There's our subfolder. We can drag and drop this around to make it a main folder if we want. If we don't want it to be a subfolder, there we go, finally got out of there. And it works pretty much the exact same way Filebird does in the last video, with the exception that we can organize pages. Let's see if we can do posts. Yes, we organize posts as well. If we install WooCommerce, I'll quickly install WooCommerce, see if we can organize that. So we have WooCommerce installed now. If I go to products, it does not look like we can organize products, at least not with the free version. Let's see if the paid version allows organizing of products or what it says on the sales page here. Let's see, unlimited folders, subfolders, uh, blah, 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 blah. Nope, you can't do WooCommerce. So Happy Files has a leg up because Happy Files allows you to organize WooCommerce products, orders, and coupons, as well as custom post types. Does not look like folders can do that, not in the free version, not the paid version. So if you're trying to make a decision on which one you need to use, if you are happy with 10 folders or less and you want to organize your pages, posts, and media files, and that's it, folders is the way to go because it's free. If you want to organize WooCommerce pages or if you want to organize into more than 10 different folders, you should go with Happy Files, the pro version, because it's $19 for unlimited everything, which is cheaper than just the one site license for folders, which organizes only posts, pages, and media library. And the last option is the video I did earlier this week for Filebird if you want to organize just your media library and nothing else, Filebird might be the way to go because that will organize your media library quite nicely. But it also has 10 folders or less, so you might as well just use folders if you want, or even the happy version of, or the free version of Happy Files, which also has 10 folders or 10 categories allowed. And if you want to upgrade Filebird, it's on Code Canyon, it's $25 to have unlimited folders. At that point, you might as well, again, go with Happy Files because it's only 19 one-time payment for unlimited everything and not just media library. So for less than the price of Filebird Pro, you get Happy Files Pro, which will organize media library. And if at some point in the unforeseen future, you need to be able to organize pages, posts, custom post types, WooCommerce stuff, Happy Files can do that for you, whereas the others cannot at this point. Now check out this video right here, where I show you how to organize your media library with Filebird, which is the plugin I mentioned in this tutorial as well. I made this a few days ago, so check that out. And then click subscribe, ring the bell, so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.